As I mentioned, this is the start of a new era for PlayStation and this famed franchise. I'm pleased to announce today that starting with Call of Duty Black Ops 3, PlayStation owners will be the first to play all map packs from this great series. And in addition, PlayStation 4 owners will be the first to play the upcoming multiplayer beta for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 this August. PlayStation is the new home of Call of Duty, and we look forward to sharing more information with you soon. What's going on guys? It's your boy Flawless Wins here, and I don't know about you guys, but I still can't believe what I just saw this week. Uh, I never in a million years thought I would be sitting here watching my YouTube video, you know, my gameplay, announcing the fact that Sony is the new home of Call of Duty. They literally just pulled the Ninja Move of the Year. They dropped the Nuclear. They dropped the 25 kill streak on Microsoft. They gave Microsoft a D. They gave everybody who owns an Xbox One the D. And I don't want to sit here sounding like I'm on a huge rant and, you know, I don't want to sound too salty. If I'm mad, it's not because of Sony is um, getting everything first as far as the beta and the DLC. What I'm mad about is they couldn't tell everybody this before we purchased an Xbox One. I mean, if they had already known, known this, they should have just revealed it so that people like myself would have had an opportunity at least to say hey maybe I want to get you know the Sony PlayStation maybe I might want a PlayStation 4 you know they're telling all the big Call of Duty fans such as myself you know way too late when most of the population has already purchased their next gen gaming console so that's why I'm sitting here with a mean mug like thinking to myself there there would have been a better chance i would have thought of hugh hefner coming out the closet there would have been a better chance of seeing snoop dogg uh sober than seeing sony being the new home of call of duty i'm just sitting back you know disgusted like you know what i know a lot of people will sit here and lie they'll just be like oh call of duty's already dead you know let sony have the crappy dlc anyways but i'm sitting here all sour you know like a sour warhead you know, a Sour Patch Kid, saying to myself, I've just bought an Xbox One, you know, I really like Microsoft, and, you know, I, I got this system, a big reason was so that I could get this stuff early, so I could play Call of Duty early, you know, and all they had to do was let everybody know sooner so that we can have this opportunity, the decision to change. It's too late, you know. Unless you're rich, unless you're getting a lot of money off YouTube, you're not just going to sit here and be like, oh, I'm just turning in my Xbox One now after I just paid all this money. I'm, you know, switching teams to PlayStation Nation. Um, you know, no hate towards PlayStation. They made quite a baller move. You know, they just got a king me in chess. You know, I feel like I just got quadruple jumped in a game of checkers. Uh, completely bamboozled, completely out of the element move. I mean... I thought things were going well, you know, with Call of Duty and Xbox. I, I don't know if they had a money negotiation issue or something, but all I know is it's like freaking a bad porno tape or something. I mean, I just feel like something just happened where Sony just, oh my god, I can't, I can't even go there right now. My my face, if you saw it right now, it, it would just blow your mind. I, I'm still at awe, really. You might say, sit there and be like, oh, flawless. You know, it's not that big of a deal, but I, I, I'm just mad. That's all I'm saying. I am kind of mad because that's such a crooked move. Like, it, th this really just changes everything. I mean, now competitor, competitive MLG, competitive... All the great players are probably going to be switching to um, PlayStation, so I'm not going to get those really hardcore, intense battles, you know, finding people that are really good to play the game. You know, on the flip side, you know, if I was to flip a coin, this may not be such a bad thing. Maybe I'll be going against a lot more noobs this winter. You know, maybe I'll get a lot more better gameplay now that all the tryhards are going to be shifting over to uh, PlayStation Nation. But you guys gotta let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole ordeal. Them just dropping it like mid mid summer, you know, just dropping it in like June when the consoles came out, you know, last year. It's just 
This move is so crazy to me because Xbox has been the home of Call of Duty for so long. But anyways, you know what? I've been talking about this for half the gameplay, this whole entire troll situation. Now you know my thoughts on that. And um, yeah, let's move along to what I think about the multiplayer of Black Ops 3. Honestly, I'm not really impressed. I'm happy though, and I'll tell you why. Because it does look a lot like Black Ops 2. The gameplay looks fluid, it looks like it's going to be really, really good, plus it's the first Treyarch game on next gen, so you know the game is going to be smooth as all hell, it's going to be smoother than lotion, you know what I mean? So uh, what's the commotion? Anyways, so I'm just pumped, you know, Black Ops 3 looks good, you know, the exo jumping's not there anymore, there's a slight jump and then you start slowly drifting to the ground, you know, it doesn't look that big of a deal, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that harmful to people who just want to stay on the ground and play a normal game what i will say is from a graphical standpoint i'm definitely not impressed i thought that the graphics were going to be really next gen by now um to me it does look a lot like you know last generation black ops 2 i expected the game to look like tomb raider have you guys seen what tomb raider looks like in that um e3 trailer oh my god you know i thought Black Ops 3 was going to have Uncharted graphics, it was going to have Tomb Raider graphics, I thought it was going to be super realistic, and unfortunately, you know, they let us all down in that aspect. Um, all the perks in the game, they look like everything we've already had except for Sixth Sense, which is that new perk where it completely shows an arrow, you know, on your mini-map, letting you know, like, where people are in, in certain directions if you're, like, 10 feet away. That's something new, but that's no, you know, big difference. Um, the game honestly just looks like Black Ops 2, which makes it hard for me to complain because I love Treyarch and I fought Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 were amazing games, you know, a lot of people liked World of War, so no complaints there. My big thing though was, like I said, I just expected more, I guess, graphically. I mean, the game looks really cool once you're swimming underwater and you're jumping up. The whole side running thing, like running on walls like Jackie freaking Chan over here, that's going to make the flow of the game completely different. I have a feeling it's going to mess up spawns. It's going to, you know, it, it's cool because it creates different rushing routes, I guess. But it's going to be a pain in the butt to try to kill people when you think they're one spot on a minimap and then all of a sudden they're somewhere completely different. It's like the, a teleportation device. They're here one second, they're not here the next. Um, I think it's going to probably create some wacky spawns, but hey, what can I say? It's... Not exo jumping, you know, maybe the running uh, running around the walls isn't that big of a deal. We don't know until we see. Uh, I can't wait to play the beta. Unfortunately, Sony with their ninja tactics over here are going to keep your boy waiting a while to play the beta because Sony, PlayStation Nation's getting the game, you know, earlier than everybody else, you know, the beta early. So, you know, I just had to sit here with my smug look and be like, GG, you know, good game, Sony. You played me, you played me pretty good there. But, yeah, look at that. Your boy going ham, going absolutely crazy in this game, playing hardcore. Not something I use, usually do, but I thought it was really good gameplay getting that triple escort drone. And the mothership. Oh, my God. The mothership killstreak looks absolutely intense. Um, that's going to be a game changer if you get it. It looks like it's going to last a long time while it's up in the air. Unless you shoot that thing down, you're probably going to be able to put up some really crazy um, gameplays. Uh, I know that Domination, the second round of Domination now, is like unlimited time limit, so expect a lot of crazy high kill games from me. You know, might have to milk the time limit a bit to get some really high kill games. But that's what I think about Black Ops 3. It looks really good. I'm a little disappointed with the graphics. Disappointed with Microsoft and David Vondahar and the whole team that they couldn't make something happy, happen for, um, you know, Xbox fans. But uh, yeah, overall, Black Ops 3 looks good. That's my thoughts and opinions. Leave a like, favorite, subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'm ending this on a deuces.